How's everybody doing? Thanks for watching and thanks for being a fan and a customer. We've got here a brand new 2024 Silverado 2500. We did a couple of different things, but I'm going to use this truck as the example for our plug and play General Motors Sierra Silverado roof flasher, auto flasher kit. This is going to plug and play behind the driver's side A pillar for the three piece General Motors roof lights. It's going to fit a whole heck of a lot, a half ton. Uh, I'm sorry, three-quarter ton. Won't fit any half-ton trucks because they typically do not have these. So this is going to be all your 25, 3500 Sierras and Silverados and even some of the upper 35, uh, 4500 trims as well. And uh, what I want to show you here is how this is going to come apart. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off these trim pieces right here. They pop off fairly easy. I like to use our trim removal tool to get that done. It's just a little plastic tool. You can slide behind there and get those out. Behind there, you'll have your 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, those are the two bolts right there. And then you're gonna have to pull kind of hard on this because this clip right here, which is mangled because they often get mangled, is behind, it's, it's like right here. So when you pull this out, you see it right there? That clip right there often gets tore up and mangled and uh, it's not, entirely necessary to put back we've got some here but if you mash it up and mangle it you know this bolt is going to hold everything so don't freak out if you mangle up that clip now you don't need to take this a pillar all the way out i usually just tip it out like that and that's going to allow us to get to this connection right here which you're going to see is a mating connection to your auto flasher roof light kit and we're going to separate this connection by sliding back the red tab like so and pushing down on the black tab while separating backwards the connector. You may have to get a pick tool in there to help with this if you don't have longer fingernails like myself. So this is the tab. Do be careful, don't break this. You're gonna push down right here to release this right like that. And then as you pull backwards, it should release. Bear with me again, one-handed doing this through the lens of a camera. I'm sure you guys will be able to do it a whole lot faster. But I want you to see it done on film so you don't call me a magician or something trickery off film. Oh my God, this is how much harder than it looks to do on film. Hey, look at that. I did it. All right. Now you're left with your female side and your male side. This is going to go up into the roof, of course, but that's our interruption right there. So stay tuned for part two, where we're going to install the auto flasher into that interruption. All right, y'all, we're back in the truck. Now we've taken the included connector pack. We've made our connection here, taped it up nice to our 18.5. We've got that ready to go on our power control side of this module. Now keep in mind on the roof light module, the steady white flood is really not used. You can go ahead and connect it here on the 18.5 and then disregard it where you uh, go to your switch. The synchronization, the yellow, may or may not be used. Blue will be negative to pattern, of course, as always. Red to switch to power for flashing and black to ground. Now the modules are sent as shown here with the connector plug and play for the single feed for all three roof lights. Now if you choose that you want to split this open here and get underneath there and isolate the middle roof light, you can untape this and get into channels two and use that for the middle roof light if you want. We don't have a connector for the middle roof light, but uh, if you wanted to go through the extra work of dropping the headliner and everything, the, the flasher is a two-channel flasher. It is capable of that, and you can order that extra connector. It's a Z114. You can order it right on our website. We don't want to include it default because many people just aren't going to use it. But again, the wires are here. Input output two is listed right on the back. Your orange and green, they're blunt cut, not used. We're using from the factory, from default, yellow and white for input output one. So again, if you wanted to order another Z114 connector, you could uh, finish that up on your own if you want to go through all the extra labor. If not, as it's shown, this is how it's going to install. So let's go ahead and put it in. You can see it's going to connect right into the factory plugs the same way that the factory wiring connected into it. Let me pause for the magic of the movie. There. 
Now, the reason we do this is we fully interrupt the circuit. We've put the truck on vacation. We've taken over all of the load when we need to our module. Our module does everything. We don't trick the truck into doing anything. We've taken over control of the circuit by separating it, passing it into our module, back out of our module, and to the roof light. So that's how we're able to do that. Now, the easiest way to tuck this module away is we're going to go ahead and fold this wire like this. There's plenty of room behind the airbag, right up in here, behind the headliner. You can get it started, and it will slide. You're essentially shooting for right up in here behind the airbag. And this module will slide right up in there. It's quite a large void. Make sure it's not interfering with anything. Check on this side. But like I said, it slides right into here above the airbag, and then you can simply root your wire straight down here and it will drop down. You may want to take the side panel out and it'll drop straight down here. And then you can go right to your aftermarket switch or like this truck, if you happen to have factory switches, you can go to those too. So you don't need factory switches, but they're nice. Otherwise you might want to put a three quarter flush mount switch right here like we do. Either way, this wire will come down there over to here and the last thing I'm gonna tell you is right down here we've removed this kick panel which is fairly easy we simply pop the trim off the side of the seat here by pulling it straight up after we've raved this raised the seat all the way up trim panel lifts up here pulls straight backwards here to be removed because there's a ground stud right there so that's your ground you can get a nice earth ground right there and your factory auxiliary switches will be tucked up underneath there where we have some stuff already attached. And uh, and that's pretty much all there is to it. And also, if you wanted to use an aftermarket switch here, there's a fuse box right here with plenty of power. So you can power all this from inside the cab. You don't need to go out to the uh, battery. And this is on a 2024 truck. It may vary on some of the older trucks, but um, that's exactly how this is going to go into the newer trucks. Quick easy simple install to get your roof lights flashing stand by let me show you what it's like when it's done Alrighty, righty everybody you can see here we're fully back assembled and we now have flashing cab lights and of course when we turn off our switch they'll return back to normal but you can see it in the mirror there too that's our end result so that's how this installs very easy very quickly thanks again for watching